I love this dance music. I just can't get enough of it. It just not enough of it is not played on the radio. The FM stations here in the States, the pop stations here in the States, they are still reluctant to play dance music. And now fortunately today there's YouTube, there's Spotify, there's SoundCloud, there's XM Radio, there's all these outlets that you have now that wasn't quite in existence back in 2000. And basically for dance music had to rely on headline music's top 40 outlet they play some great dance music but still not enough and and maybe few every now and then on MTV such is the case though with this record Alice DJ better off alone at number 9 on my fancy playlist, June 13, 2000. Uh, it went to number 25 here in the States. Should have been top 10. Should have been top 5. But uh, I'll go into the chart positions later on in just a few minutes. This was basically Alice DJ. I thought Alice DJ was a woman. After all, there was a woman singing. But it wasn't. It was actually a project. A pop dance. A pop trance project. Yes, a dance floor barn burn. Just burn up the dance floors, man. From Stockholm to London to to Madrid to, to New York to Los Angeles. It's just burning up the dance floors in Miami. Miami's a hotbed for dance music here in the States. Brainchild of a Dutch DJ. His name was DJ Jurgen. And I might be mispronouncing his name. J-U-R-G-E-N. And uh, this project came to be in 1996. In 1998, DJ Jurgen he released an instrumental version of Better Off Alone. And when that song gained some prestige, when it started to gain some credibility, he started releasing vocal versions of this song. Under the moniker, one of the monikers, DJ Jurgen presents Alice DJ or Alice DJ and courtesy of DJ Jurgen or something like that. And Better Off Alone was a huge hit in Europe. I'll get into that in just a minute. The album is called Who Needs Guitars Anyway? It was the only album released by Alice DJ. Alice DJ, uh, the original lead singer, but she does a great job. Man, I, I love it. She does a great job. Judith Anna Pronk, the original lead singer of Alice DJ. They disbanded in 2002, but it was reformed. DJ Jurgen reformed this act in 2014 under a different vocalist and two new backup uh, dancers. By then, uh, Judith Anna Prompt, she had already retired, I think, from singing. Song went to number two in England, no doubt about it. BBC Radio 1, just much more flexible about playing dance music than uh, most of the pop stations here in the States. And that was particularly true back in 2000. Oh, my goodness. A nice record. Let's go. Oh, got something for you. Music major. Yes, the technical details of this record. Just bear with me. 137 beats per minute. It's a pretty fast record. It's up there with, uh, what else is 138 beats per minute? Can't think of any record right now, but uh, that's 137. But it's, it's up there. It's pretty fast. The vocals of this song, the register, uh, ranges from B third or B three to G sharp four. And if you want to learn how to play this song on a guitar, well, uh, I got the chord progression. It's E slash D sharp minor or major. It's a small M, so I'm thinking it's minor. G sharp minor and then F sharp. Let me make sure I got that right. Let me double check on that. Bear with me, folks. Bear with me. Bear, bear with Mr. DJ. I'm giving you some good information on this record. Some good information. I know. I know. I can. I got the. I can. Here it is. E, D sharp minor, uh, G sharp minor, and F sharp. There we go. Thanks for bearing with me. And oh gosh, let's go to the chart positions. Boy, this song it killed it in Europe. Did very well in uh, in uh, other countries. Uh, well, number twenty eight Switzerland, number two in England, went to number nine in the Netherlands, number three in Ireland. Uh, didn't do so well for some reason in Germany. Just barely cracked the top forty in Germany. Uh, number six in France and number four in Australia, and it is at number nine on my fancy playlist. June 13, 2000, Alice DJ, Better Off Alone. 